Estrada. I'm the associate winemaker here at Smith Water Cellars. I, my function here is as the on-site winemaker. I run the uh, day-to-day operations and uh, collaborate with consulting winemaker Tony Reiners. Today we are processing um, some Cabernet Sauvignon from the Horse Heaven Hills, a vineyard called Double Canyon. Uh, this is our second to the last day of harvest. Um, we started harvest on September 27th and started throughout the last uh, month and a half or so, pulled in fruit from various vineyard sites in the Columbia Valley. Uh, this morning, we started off by, uh, we dumped the fruit into our receiving hopper here, and it proceeds up this inline conveyor. Um, and what they're doing is picking out any leaves that have come in, um, any clusters that uh, may be raisined or may not look uh, pristine, and um, they allow the good clusters to go down and into the destemmer. Let's go downstairs and uh, see where this fruit is going. As you can see, we have a, uh, a chute connected to the hole that is in the floor above us um, where the destemming is taking place. And so the berries are falling freely directly into the fermenter where they will uh, stay and become wine. Let's go take a look. So as you can see, these are uh, nearly intact berries, and the impact that we're looking for is for the activity of, the, of gravity falling down into the uh, into the destemmer that the berries just merely slightly break, um, so that the the pulp from the inside mixes with the color and tannins in the skins, so that during fermentation we can extract the the color and the flavors and the tannins that we're looking for in these wines. This piece of equipment right here is a press and basically all it all it is is a giant sieve and so we will take the, the fruit that has been fermented and load it into this machine. Um, as you can see it's got a slotted side. Inside of that drum is a, a uh, membrane that expands with compressed air. And all it's doing is squeezing out any liquid that still may be attached to those skins so that we can get uh, as, as many gallons of wine goodness as we can um, at the tail end of this process. Once the wine has been pressed, uh, it will then go to barrels. And as you can see here, we are prepping our barrels uh, to be filled here very shortly. Um, so the finished wine will go into barrel and it will sit in the rooms um, that are temperature controlled where the wine will age. So again, I'm Linda Trotta, Associate Winemaker here at Swift Water Cellars. On behalf of Tony Reinders and the whole production team, thanks for joining us on this little production tour and I hope to see you in the tasting room sometime soon. Thanks. and I am the general manager here at Swiftwater Cellars. I think uh, the attraction was, was really the industry and when I say the, the wine industry focused on yes wine as a product but hospitality, um, customer relationships and overall experience. That's really why we chose the location that we did. The formula here in Suncadia or in Cleelum being 80 miles outside of a target market in Seattle. It's very wine and food focused. Um, we chose a location. Obviously, you can see behind me just adds to the overall experience that, uh, that we have that's different in the wine industry here at Swiftwater. So our family history as it pertains to the wine industry started 15 years ago our previous life which was in the frozen vegetable business it was through that business and some land development for or with frozen vegetables that we started 300 acres of vineyard grapes in eastern Washington and we've been involved with long-term supply agreements with select wineries in eastern Washington Columbia Crest and Hoag Cellars. Um, you know, the, the selection of grapes from year to year 
is really trying to take the best components, uh, the best products that we can in vineyard sourcing and put together wines that people, they, they just really, really enjoy. So I, I think the, the importance for us this year being at our, our first crush, obviously, to have the involvement with our, our employees was just as, as a continual education process and being able to go through the process and, and work with, with Linda and our, our seller staff uh, it's just a, another part of their education for, for the winery itself. Hi, my name is Kara LaDuke and I work here at Swiftwater Cellars. My name is Madeline Rudd and I'm a student at Central Washington University and I've been studying uh, wine in the Global Wine Studies program. And I've been working up in the tasting room and I've been working down here in the cellars. And it's been great because I've been able to uh, transfer everything from the cellars and the winemakers passion up into the tasting room and to the customers that um, come in and love our product so much. Opportunities for me presently have been to work on the crush which is really awesome since I am going to Central Washington University to do the World Wine Program. It's kind of been a nice foot in the door to be able to work with Linda and doing the winery things, also working in the restaurant and portion, getting to do the tastings and things like that. I really want to work eventually in a winery as like a cellar master, a seller's assistant, and sort of the chemical work and also in the crushing area. So it's been a really great opportunity to get to work here. All wineries and anything that has to do with wine is all down in either Walla Walla or Prosser. Learning to learn this whole process from especially all of it, not just the winery and the tasting room, but um, both of it together has been amazing because I don't have to drive two hours and I can do my internship and go to classes so I'm able to, something I learn in here, I can go and ask my professors or something that I learn in class, I can relate from the books to what I'm learning in the field. And so it's right there. I can come up before classes, I can come up after classes. So it's really a hands-on experience. Whether you're a, a server in the hoist house in the restaurant, a bartender, just an employee here, having that knowledge base and going through the process to be able to talk to that and and then speak to the wines that you're you're pouring for for customers as as a part of that experience it really adds to people's dining experience or their overall experience here so a very important part of uh, the training process for for our folks internally and something that we'll definitely continue to do here at the winery My name is Tony Reinders and I'm the consulting winemaker for Swiftwater Cellars and uh, I've been involved with, uh, with this uh, fabulous project since the start back in 2008. I started in the uh, wine industry in California and then I've been moving gradually further north and now I'm working my way further south. I've, I've had the opportunity to work in both uh, Oregon and Washington as far as the Pacific Northwest and uh, just really uh, having a lot of fun out. It's a good time. We've actually just encountered an exciting time here at Swiftwater, which is the, uh, the bottling of the first wines here at the new facility up in Cleellum. And uh, the first wines that we bottled were three white wines, two from the 2010 vintage and one from 2009. We, uh, we actually took the three white wines and um, we had cold stabilized those, which that means we, we put the wine at very cool temperatures and that actually pulled out uh, some of the, uh, uh, the what's called potassium uh, bitartrate and that's uh, those are little crystals that on occasion uh, you can see on wine corks and sometimes in the bottom of the bottles and so the wine went through a, a, a very gentle filtration process called cross flow and it's a 
uh, the filtration that uh, as the wine goes through it comes out just sparkling clean and the wine is I think very very focused and and has uh, just beautiful aromatics after that and so two days after we had gone through that we uh, we bottled uh, about 1,200 cases of wine, uh, three different varieties, as I mentioned earlier. So the Semillon Riesling and, and Sauvignon Blanc uh, and uh, Semillon Blanc. So over the next uh, few months, uh, we're going to be uh, bottling at a few different locations. Um, the 2009 Pinot Noir, Swiftwater Pinot Noir, is uh, is now in tank and, and ready to be bottled. And so we will, uh, we will do that the first part of March uh, down in the Willamette Valley. And, uh, and then in May, late May, we'll be finishing up with the balance of the 2009s, which are the two, uh, the two big red wines, which are the proprietary red and the number nine red uh, in Walla Walla at, at, uh, at the Custom Crush facility where we've been at. And so from 2010 forward, um, all the wines will be made uh, here at Swiftwater Cellars. The next few months, in addition to bottling, uh, we're we're looking forward to the completion of the malolactic fermentation of the reds in barrel, so those will uh, be finishing up, and so the uh, the the 010 wines will will be uh, at that point in time just uh, just resting in barrel until uh, until they're ultimately uh, bottled uh, about a year and a half from now. So now it's time to party. <laughs>